All right, here we go, folks. We got ourselves a fun series coming at you. Spawning down in the bottom left for Onside Gaming. It is Solar. In the red. And his opponent. Spawning up at the top right for Onside Gaming. It is Maru. In the blue. And we are going to be seeing a... Well, it looks like a two racks Reaper opener from Maru. And he's pretty good with these there two racks Reap openers. Two racks Reaper openers. As you'd expect. Kind of a, kind of a boss. Kind of a baller. Now, I wonder if we'll see any three racks Reaper plays. This is probably the best map to go for a three racks Reaper for a couple reasons. One, because there's, you know, a lot of area in the main base where creep can't really cover but two this is also one of the best zerg maps in the pool I, I would say between altitude and ancient cistern altitude is the one that pretty much always gets vetoed by terran so ancient cistern is the one that in a best of five which we are currently in is the one that usually gets played uh now maru he is not beyond but he still has some fantastic micro. There is no doubt of that. But I don't think of him as like winning the game without losing a Reaper type of thing. However, it's well, he's, he's pretty darn good. It wouldn't surprise me if he... Well, no, actually, it wouldn't surprise me if he did that. It would impress the hell out of me. But it wouldn't actually surprise me. Uh, however, uh, we are in fact just going to see... The two racks Reaper opening. And okay, I was going to say, Maru has been doing a little bit of two Reaper play. Cutting the third Reaper to get a faster timing behind it. But it will be a third Reaper here. It's kind of neat how Maru makes his own little adjustments. And switches things up. I, I really do like that. Generally speaking, I think it's pretty awesome. Solar doesn't open up six lings. And we'll add on another pair because he knows. He knows it's going to be the two racks Reaper. Queen, of course, very important to keep it high on HP. We are going to see the third hatchery coming on down. And that means Ling Speed is delayed off of this Clash opener, this modified Q-Lash opener. Meanwhile, two more barracks. This is going to be the four racks version. So Maru is, well, he is going to be going for it. And once again, this is not the greatest map for Terran. And in fact, I would say it's probably the, the worst map for Terran in the pool that gets played. Uh, I do like this Creep Tumor here from Solar. Going to make it a lot easier to deal with these Reapers. So far, Solar hasn't lost anything. Great defense. Maru. Is this going to be the SCV pool version? Ah, with a second gas in the main base, probably not. Very likely, this will turn into a two base all in. And that's going to be strong going to be particularly strong. He is really good at that. He's pulled some of those types of plays versus Raynor. Combat shields. There we go. Should start up any moment, I was about to say, and it does. Was he able to get this? No, no, no. It was... This feels a little bit faster than I usually see. There's almost always a difference between the stim and the combat shields finishing. But it feels like this one was like just a couple seconds faster. Like I'm talking like five seconds faster at most. Neither player has lost anything yet. And that is a testament to these two players skills. They are both extremely good. Solar. He's going to need to identify what is going on for the follow through. Oh, Maru finally gets first blood at four and a half minutes. Second gas for Solar. Is it going to be a quick layer, I wonder, and maybe a quick Bane speed? That would be... Well, that'll be necessary against a play like this. Ooh, good job from Maru. Able to pick off a few links. Kind of just trimming them down. Oh, excellent scout from Solar. He sees all of the Marines. That was a brilliant scout. Now he is going to be able to build a ton of lings here. He's already up at 52 drones. Obviously, we're looking for the next phase of the push. Like, he would have just seen this now, otherwise. Which, by the way, good job with the Overlord there. I would like Solar to still pull this Overlord back. 
It is going to be double Evo behind us. So Solar is looking to run the next wave of the push over. But of course, like I said, he's got to focus on this wave. Maru, he's going to be looking to create an avenue of attack here. This is where he wants to focus his... Uh, focus his might. Siege tanks against this ledge are probably the scariest thing for the Zerg. On this map, I would say. Oh, third command center for Maru. So this is not going to be a two base all in. Will probably still be a two base push. But he's actually building a reactor here. On this factory. He is on four racks. Of course, you can kind of... Usually we go five racks and there it is now. So he actually built the reactor before he built the... Uh, barracks but this is interesting maru electing not to push solar okay yeah he's gonna drop a bunch more creep the thing is maru knows that solar will have reacted correctly solar is probably the best standard zerg in korea now that rogue is in the military dark is just such a, a wild card I think Solar's mechanics, his execution, is the cleanest of the, like, standard Zergs. The macro Zergs. Maru, by the way, going to be going into 2-1 upgrades behind this. And just looking to clear a little bit of creep. He's trying to find ways to create opportunities for himself. Solar just now starting up Bane Speed, but he will have a really nice 1-1 timing versus his opponent's 1-0. Maru... Uh, stims a couple of units, clears up a little bit of creep. Unfortunate that Maru hasn't seen this Overlord yet. It's giving so much vision for Solar. Oh, Widowmind drop on the top side. We don't see this very often, but it is a good play. Plus two attack for Maru. When will he get into it? He needs a little bit more money. There's that 1-1 one, one for Solar. No Spore Crawler on the left side. So how many gases is he on? Five gas. He should probably be adding on a hydrant end pretty soon at that rate. Maru going to boost in with the medevac. Oh, two mines in each base. Oh, that's going to be some big damn. Huge damage here. Solar. Oh, man. He actually loses. Ooh. This is, this is really nice for Maru. He's spreading out the mines, even though that one's already fired. It is going to make it just a little bit more difficult to clean up. A little bit more attention required. Especially with a slow Verseer. 13 drones going down. That was certainly worthwhile. 120 lings on the field. Maru is actually ahead in workers right now. Drilling Claws starts up 2-1. There's that plus 2 attack from Maru. But Solar has a lot of lings on the map. He does have an upgrade advantage at the moment. He's going to try and... Uh, Maru is going to try and get into a corner here. Ooh, he's got to pick up does get some good work done nice retarget on the widow mine to make sure he hits a couple of banelings oh the scv pole very nice i was gonna say there's not enough marines here to deal with this but the scv pole able to buffer for the marines now a big drop in the main base maru he is cooking obviously there's enough ling bane to deal with this oh couple ah bad rally back home on the medevacs widow mine will get shift burrowed forward solar did redrone back up in a big way Ooh, transfuse. Not enough to keep all the queens alive. Two of them do fall. Ling's going for the surround here. Oh, that's a big mine shot. It is 1-1 one, one versus 1-1s one, currently, but it will be 2-2 two, two versus 2-1 two, pretty soon in favor of Solar. Well, that's a lot of Ling Bane here on the counterattack. Uh, Solar, Your go! Are under attack. Was that another Wind Mine drop? Not even sure. It was. Oh my god, he's following one of the drones. Oh no. But Ling Bane, counterattack on the other side of the map. Widowmine does burrow. Oh, Solar able to take it out. He manually detonated the uh, Banelings there to make sure that they killed the Widowmine. Still, not too much damage. Muscular Augments, it's going to be denied with four seconds left. Very nice, jo uh, nice job for Maru. Picks up, gets out of the main base. Focuses back on the other side. He's doing some great work with this. Oh, and those mines go into town, even on the Hydras. Overseer getting sniped. Can Maru get the other one? 
Oh. Solar. Oh, it's a big mind shot. Maru is really occupying the attention of the Zerg player. 10 SCVs did go down. Is that 10 SCVs total? Yes. Okay, so that was just an add-on of the other original eight. So just uh, two more. Nice hot pickup from Maru. Oh, God, that was another big mind shot. 22 kills on this other mine, too, and it's about to come back off cooldown. Maru is really putting the hurt on Solar here. Maru. Ooh, targeting the Banes. Gets most of them, but there's still a couple more. That will force the army away. Solar is really on the back foot here. And Maru's going to find the fifth base on the top side. Very nicely done. He can scan, clear a little bit of creep. Assuming he's got the energy. Oh, Hydra's going to intercept a medevac onto the bottom side. That's a full medevac going down. Good job from Solar having those units in position. Maru. Ooh, targeting down a couple drones. Nice job. This is such a tense game right now. Maru finally going to even up the upgrades here and actually technically take an advantage because uh, a good amount of Solar's army is Hydra's. However, the Hydra's are going to be 1-2 right now as well. Maru does need the plus 3 armor. Of course, he is spending all of his money on this, these attacks. Oh, another Widowmine drop. They do have Drilling Claws. Solar responding very nicely. This is so much strain. So much mental pressure and just regular pressure being exerted from these drops. Solar, though, is on top of them so far. However, a lot of creep is now getting clipped back. That is... Attention is a resource. Absolutely. And Maru doing a really great job of uh, stressing his opponent's attention. Hydras, Lings, and Banes not going to be able to keep this base alive. There is a tank now in this army. Maru. Well, actually, both players are maxed out. We do see the Overlord in the middle of the map going down. That will cause a supply block. Ooh, Lings are going to be able to get in on top of this drop. Barely able to clean it up by the skin of their teeth. Which is rather nice, but Maru's just like, oh, okay, I can use those medevacs for healing the rest of it. Ooh, oh, nice spread against the mines. And this will be a swamp on this army. Solar with a nice little clean up there. And now there's not enough links to prevent these units from unloading. Hive did finish up behind this. Uh, Solar doing a good job of keeping on top of his tech. But Maru... He is really starting to apply some pressure on the top side. He's cleared out a lot of creep. There's one tumor left. Viper doesn't have energy for Parasitic Bomb, which is really all he can use it for right now. There's only a couple of tanks, and they're not here with this army. That is a lot of Lingbane Hydra, though. Oh, that Widowmine shot is big. Second one, not so much, but the first one was quite huge. And we're about to see plus three weapons come online for Maru. That's going to allow him to start trading even better than he has been. And he's already been trading very well. Oh, that's another huge mine shot. And now this final creep tumor gets taken out. Solar really getting uh, clipped back in terms of the influence. So Maru is playing damn fine StarCraft today. And now the ghost transition comes in. We've got Cloak on the way, plus three armor getting close, plus one vehicle weapons. So Maru is preparing for the potential late game switch. Oh, and he's going to find his base for the first time. Solar is out of position, and it's going to cost him a whole base. Maru finally cracks the ironclad defense of Solar. When you apply enough pressure, eventually things break. Solar, though. Oh, no. He's actually maybe not going to be able to clean that up. Maru on the bottom side. That's where he's spending his attention. Oh, God. That Widowmine shot. The Widowmines have been so good for Maru. And that's going to allow him to win this fight. And GG gets called. What a game number one out of both players. But Maru, the star of this one. All right, here we go. Spawning up at the top left for Onside Gaming. It is Solar. In the red. And his opponent. Spawning down in the bottom right for Onside Gaming. It's Maru. In the blue. Man, what a 
God, what a phenomenal, phenomenal game one that was. Absolutely electric. And that was, that was Solar's map. That was Solar's first map pick. That was the best Zerg map left in the pool because, of course, Altitude was vetoed because Maru's not an idiot. Man. That's not to say you can't play Altitude as Terran. It's actually, it's actually really a, kind of a comfy pick for somebody like Spirit. Spirit loves playing the late game on that map. And he, he's quite good at it. So... And Maru is a late game connoisseur too, but we can also see from that game number one that he loves putting the pressure on. Now, what are we gonna see out of Maru in game number two? Obviously, he set up for that big four racks play, but he saw that Solo was prepared and just backed away, which is really, Impressive. Really impressive. Like it's, I know it's a simple concept to just back away. But, I mean, it's... It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome to see that level of maturity being shown. Uh, and Dragon Scales, this is a much better map for Terran than Ancient Cistern. But we can see that if you can apply enough pressure, get those mines cooking, get everything going, you can do a hell of a lot on Ancient Cistern still. Sometimes it's not about the map, it's about the player. And Maru, he is the player. Good job from Solo right here. Mike bring back the Zergling. He's keeping them alive. Ooh. Creep Tumor in the main. I think that makes sense against the three Reaper opening. Uh, because Dragon Scales, I talk about Ancient Sister and having a big main base. Dragon Scales has a big main base. Oh, and we're already seeing a lot of damage on this one queen, but the Reaper, oh no, Maru, with the anti-grenade, knocks the queen towards him and loses one of these early Reapers. This is already a better start by a lot for Solar in game number two. Now, game one, he didn't take any damage. Oh, if you lose the queen, that actually, uh, I mean, it's two Reapers for the queen. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what Solar is saying right there. Wonder what Solar is saying. I feel like it's got to be something along the lines of like, that was bad for you. Or like, worth... Metamorphosis complete. Or like, you idiot, like, I just baited you so hard. I'm basing that all on the fact that Maru dropped the TT. Uh, now, losing a queen early does hurt. But... And it's not like those Reapers are going to be game-changing. However, it will mean any follow-through push is less effective. Solar did get the scout. Oh my god, he's not going to... Okay, no, there's a Marine at the low ground. I was going to say, if he... Wait. Okay, it lives. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, that shouldn't have lived. It shouldn't have lived. Oh, my God. Uh, it will be the mind drop version of this, by the way. Solar, you're too harsh on me. Oh. Okay. I like my interpretation of uh, a little bit better. Just of... <laughs> B equals TT. Ah, cool. I do like that Maru is setting up for a secondary wall. Uh, so one big advantage of the two racks Reaper is that you get a wall in the low ground. Another, uh, and so that means you don't need to necessarily build Hellions to secure your natural, but I do think it's important to set up a secondary wall. So I like that Maru's done this, but just put depots here. Pop a couple depots down. Get yourself, ma make it easier to deal with Ling Brunbys in the future. Spore Crawler is in position. Gonna get a lot of damage on this medevac and will provide detection. 
Oh, target fire on the queen. Very nicely done there by Maru. Oh, he's gonna get he's gonna get a second queen. Oh, and he gets actually a bunch of lings too. That's a mistake from Solar. He kind of dragged the lings into that. Now, he doesn't lose any drums. This is still good for Solar, I think, because he knows exactly what his opponent's done. He droned up super hard. What's the queen count? Still at six. Now, it will slow down the creep. Oh, and this drop into the main base. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with because he's lost three queens early on. So that, that means um, the fact that Solar lost that queen and the way he responded makes me think that it is a big pain that he lost that queen. Like, he, he's frustrated. Because the Reapers don't really transition. Uh, Marines are a little bit too low on HP to win this fight. Would mind Drop did come back into the natural. Good job from Solar to only take two more drone losses. And he cleaned up all the mines. Now, this is a map that you want to go tanks. Oh, five more barracks on the way. This is going to turn into an eight racks. And Dragon Scales is a pretty good eight racks map. Good snipe on the creep tumors here. Solar going to need to rebuild those uh, lickety split as soon as possible. Maru? Oh, no. He forgot his plus one armor. Oh, that's so bad when you're going for an eight racks. Combat Shields has not been done, by the way, this whole time. So the Marines are not having as easy of a time as they should be. Oh, man. The lack of plus one armor is actually so sad for Maru. He hit his armory timing perfectly, too. Oh, God. That takes so much wind out of the sails of a push like this. Now, it's not to say it won't work. Because Siege Tanks, especially on a map like Dragon Scales, are going to be the main focus. Good job from Maru. Micring back, getting out of range of the Queens with his medivacs. Scan will catch a bunch of Creep Tumors in the middle of the map. And he gets an Overlord. And he even targets down a Bane. Nice job. Good job indeed. Solar will find this drop unloading. But it is still going to be able to find a couple more Tumors. He's clipping his opponent back. But now, oh, he starts up the plus one armor. Ugh, it's so late. And this is, this is the uh, 15 Marine at a time, two racks. So this is, or sorry, eight racks. So this is a much bigger focus on Marines, which means that missing out on the upgrades for them is a lot bigger of a deal. Ooh, Maru a little bit late on the pickup. Solar able to get the jump on his opponent. And there's the plus two attack now. This should be 2-2 two -two starting for Maru. Not plus one armor, you know, 40% of the way done. That's going to make things very difficult for him. Now, Hive is on the way for Solar. Something Solar needs to do, I'm just going to say, take down these rocks. He has seen... Actually, he hasn't seen that it's an 8-Rax. He doesn't know yet. How many tanks do we have with this? Five... This is a... That is a lot of tanks. Five tanks is quite a few. Oh, Solar definitely doesn't want to let Maru keep these rocks up. There's so many good tank positions that are enabled by those rocks. So good job from Solo to take those down. I wouldn't even mind him focusing on these rocks a little bit more. But triple drop into the main base. Maru adding on Liberators. He's already gearing up for the next stage of this setup. Solar does have an upgrade lead right now. So his links are going to be able to deal with this a lot better than you'd think. Maru. Oh, Solar sees this. He sees where the tanks are set up. Those creep tumors were actually really good for him. And he still sees the tanks in the back. Ling Bane counterattack getting set up on the other side of the map. But that is a really nice wall from Maru. Solar. Oh, man. It, this is a lot of good tank spots. It's not just about the, where the tanks threaten. It's the fact that there's these little corners they can uh, put themselves in. Little pockets. Maru. Oh, well, he gets his Marines in a good position. But SCVs do get blown up. But... Solar's going to have to give up the base. And 9 SCVs is not enough for the loss of a base. However, there's no plus... Two. It just started. Oh, just started the plus 2 armor. Solar's going to be very close to 2-2. Two, two, and he starts with the Lands. He's getting Vipers on the way. That's going to be a really big help against this. But he's gone up to 82 drones. Oh, these Ling counterattacks, though. This one is very good. It's going to find a bunch of SCVs and a lot of reactors. Going to shut down a lot of the production, killing so many depots, too. 
Maru is actually badly supply blocked now at 161 of 133. Solo, though, cannot let Maru get into this, uh, this position, which Maru's already actually gotten into. 2-2 is done for Solo, but he loses the Banely Nest. Oh, he's going to go for the break attempt. He's coming in from just one direction. Maru has so many well-positioned tanks. The Banely's getting massacred. Blinding Cloud is uh, pretty much impotent. We've got a big army supply lead for Maru. He lost a lot of SCVs, but he is continuing to push forward. And Solar, he can't do anything. Maru takes game number two, goes up two to zero. All right, here we go. Game number three. Spawning up at the top left. He is on the ropes for onside gaming. It's Solar. In the red. And his opponent playing so damn well for onside gaming. It is Maru. In the blue. And we are going to be seeing a two racks. Two racks Reaper opening once again. Most likely. Now, Maru has been known to go for a one Rax opener, but I don't think you would do it on Grespawn. This is way too big of a natural. And for me, this is probably the best map to do this two Rax Reaper on because I want to talk about one of the advantages of the two Rax Reaper. And that is the fact that you wall. You get a free wall at the natural. And like I said, I really do like when players build a secondary wall. It just makes, even though you know you should be able to theoretically raise the depot at the natural, why not just make your job easier by building a secondary wall? I know you're playing Terran, you're playing the hardest race, yada, yada, yada. But why not make your job easier? The game is already so hard. Just simplify it. Simplify it. Do things like Chelch does where he does, he puts his High Templar in a little cannon prison and makes it so that when you F2 them across the map, they stay in position which is hilarious and super smart and also the most Protoss monkey brain thing I can think of and I love it. But yeah, why not just why not just make it a little easier? Uh, still, Grespawn, like I said, biggest opening at the natural. And yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty darn good in terms of being able to wall. Being able to wall. Solar. Okay, he does start Ling Speed first. I think that's pretty important. Uh, Maru, interestingly, no proxy racks yet. And, I mean, we might be past the age. Well, we kind of are past the age of, like, every game is a... Or every series features a proxy 2 racks or a proxy 3 racks. But it's still an effective build. However... Uh, Maru, I mean, he's clearly enjoying the two racks a lot. The two racks Reaper, I should say. Oh, this is something we almost never see. Maru lifting the barracks to go hunting for the Overlord. And uh, he's going to get it. There's almost there's almost no way to keep it alive. I mean, if the barracks decides it wants to kill it. Hang on, hang on. Maru, no, 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 no. Oh, we gave it up. Well, okay, never mind. Now it's going to live. But that's because he's focused on the uh, queens on the other side of the map, the Reapers. So far, nothing has gone down. Solar keeping this queen alive, but it is very low on HP. Oh, Maru's going to kill it. Well, actually, he's going to kill the Creep Tumor. Oh, and he's going to get the higher HP queen. Oh, my God. That is so much more brutal. Maru? Ooh, did he go too far? He might have... Link speed completed. No, he can get up to the high ground. Oh, that's so frustrating. Maru getting himself into a good position, but he actually moves out of it initially. Shuffles the Reapers around, but it's not going to be enough to keep them alive. Good job from Solar to get to the high ground, get the kills. Oh, Solar's all inning. Solar is absolutely all inning. He says, you got too greedy with the deep or with the uh, barracks lift. I think Maru might just fall over to this. Losing those Reapers, he didn't get the information that he needed. There's a third command center on the way. Yeah, Maru's, Maru's just going to get run over. There's Hellions, which is probably the best case scenario. But there's no wall here. And this is... 
This is going to be so difficult to hold. Now, if Maru can hold this, even if he takes some damage, he is on three CCs, and it will be a third orbital. So he's going to be able to pump mules. But... Oh, oh no, he opens the depot. Okay, he closes it. Good job, good job. Hellions are out. Oh, target fire on the Bane. So good for Maru, but it's a full surround on the Hellions and the Marines. This is over. No chance, no shot. Manual detonation on the Baneling. Yeah, this is game. We're going to game four. Solar. Camping the Hellions and, oh my God, the Hellion walks into a surround with the help of the Baneling Cocoon. And Solar will take game number three. Very well done. And here we go for game number four. Spawning up at the top right for Onside Gaming. It is Solar. With a nice cheeky counterattack Ling Bane all in. It gets the job done. And his opponent spawning down to the bottom left for Onside Gaming. It is Maru. In the blue. Wasn't able to identify what was going on. Look at this. Proxy two racks. And with a barracks right away. I think this is going to be Proxy two racks Reaper. All right, all right, all right. This is neat. Now, hmm. Do, I don't know if I like that it's Proxy 2 Racks Reaper. This is a good position for it here. Also, I will say it's really good for Sola that he won on Gresspawn. Because Maru's greatest strength, of course, is the late game. His decision making, his uh, just general abilities in the late game are fantastic. So if Solar is going to mount a comeback, which of course he starts, but a Ling Bane all in is not necessarily an indicator that he can keep it going, but it is really good that he was able to do so on Gresspawn. Now Solar is gonna see, okay, you don't have barracks in the natural. Maru, is this a guarantee that it's proxy two racks of some kind? Not necessarily. Oh, but a bunker starts up at the natural. Okay, Solar sees this. This is going to be quite a nuisance to deal with. Solar will see the lack of an expansion. He started pulling drones, but now he sees... Oh, okay, this is uh, this is Reapers. I was just going to say, I think you need a spine. One drone already going down. Solar, because he paid for that spine, didn't have the money to morph a spore. Good micro so far on the drones, though. Maru will get pushed away, and we do see the bunker getting cancelled. But, this is going to be scary to deal with. Oh, cancelling the spine. I don't know about that. This feels really dangerous. Solar. Oh my god, he's already taking so much damage. Queen is out, but... This is already pretty rough. Oh, nice grenade. It knocks the one queen back. Second, oh man, that was a great grenade hitting both queens, knocking them away from another, each other. The grenades are fantastic here. And Solar gonna lose another two, maybe three drones. No, just two drones. Oh, and the Ling's not able to get the wrap around. Solar is taking so much damage. Maru does just now start the command center, but he's got a factory already done. I was going to say it's a little bit misplaced, but he's going to be able to react her anyway, so it's kind of fine. Actually, it's completely fine. Uh, Maru's going to stop at five Reapers and is going to back away. Ling speed is getting close, but I really feel like Maru could have done a little bit more there. Oh, he's actually going to be six Reapers. Okay, that makes sense. That's enough to one-shot Lings, one-shot drones. But if you're not going in with the Reapers. I don't know. It is also worth noting that this is probably not the best map for this. Because it is a relatively small main base. It's not tiny. It's still decent size, but one creep tumor really shut this down. Maru? Oh. That was a little bit, uh, a little bit wonky on the movement. It will be a mind drop behind this. I wonder if he's going to drop the... Oh, it's an armory. Cloaked Mines. Okay. Solar starts up a third base. But, of course, he's been staying on two bases for a while. He did take a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Four drones, 11 lings. This was certainly effective from Maru. But, if Solar can defend the Mind Drop, he's still certainly in this game and in this series. 
because of course the base was delayed and this is a pretty big commitment <clears throat> now it will come down to does this get spotted there is enough lings to to jump the mines but if the mines burrow between the minerals eh, even with enough lings even getting on top of it <clears throat> the mines can still make sure that they burrow and because there's an armory i mean you will need spores now spore starts up in the main base that's good news for solar and he is going to get on top of this right away he spotted this with an overlord oh mines in the between the minerals oh he doesn't even stop one single mine from burrowing three drones already going down in a few lanes ah but this is not the worst thing spore crawler repositions yeah this is i i feel like this is kind of fine for solar oh oh no 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 solar no he re oh my god he repositioned the spore before he killed it oh my he didn't notice oh no 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 that could have been so much worse it's only two drones oh that's still that's an unnecessary two drones he lost and now a hellion drop comes in oh it's gonna be a hellbat morph behind this but this is not going to be that effective. The medevac, oh, almost going down, and it will fall. Great defense from Solar here. Yeah. Good job. Good target fire. Liberator coming on into the natural. Maru is really taxing Solar's multitasking here. Oh, nice spore crawler morph, but it was too early to bait the shot. So it just changed targets to a different drone. He was trying to dodge the shot there. This is a really great map for Liberators. Solar will get enough Queens over here. Can he get the kill? Ah, uh, he should be able to. Oh my god, this spore is not in position. Maru, meanwhile, the Reapers, they come back in. There's the smallest number, number of roaches, which is really funny. Uh, I think Solar might be thinking it's mech, but it's not. It is, in fact, Bio. We've got Stim done. Oh, Maru, please don't forget plus one armor again. Reapers getting into the third base. Oh, they're going to get a lot of damage done. God, the Reapers have been the heroes of this game. 100%. Solar is still in a good position drone-wise, relatively speaking. But... Oh, Maru, please don't forget plus one armor. Ah, he's, he's forgotten it. He has just straight up forgotten it again. Uh, Solar, he is not a player that I think of that is really good at like playing 1-1 one, one Roach and then transitioning into uh, melee upgrades and, you know, like Ling Bane, uh, Ling Bane, Ravager, Viper. Ooh, Solar a little bit supply blocked. Here comes the first drop of Medivax into the main base does actually have a couple of those reapers inside just to uh just to make use of them and fill out the extra supply solar oh almost getting the medevac but the spore crawler was taken down good job from maru if he doesn't take that down he loses the loses the medevac and honestly the damage in the main base is inconsequential we're getting a cancel on the fourth that is very good Ooh, clears up a little bit of creep as well anything to keep the pressure on solar is Excellent. Marus. Did he just switch a tech lab onto a tech lab? That was. That was almost certainly meant to be an armory. He did. <laughs> a little, little oopsie there. That happens to the best of us. Uh, there's that plus one armor. God, he forgot it again. I'm so sad. But Maru is still playing phenomenal StarCraft. That is, I don't want to fixate too much on this because he's doing all of the really difficult things very, very well. Oh, his tanks were stuck. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, maybe right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Second factory on the way, fourth command center. Uh, we do have a Lurker Den. Oh, Solar eating a couple of his own cross Biles. Lurker Den, Hive. And it is going to be that 1-1 setup from Solar. Royal Blood. 
<clears throat> I mean, it's a decent map for playing Lurkers and playing the long game, but it's also a very good map for Terran to play the late game. Solar, though, has been kept off a of four base economy for a very long time. See, the income is pretty even. But I'm impressed that Solar's still in this game. Like, Maru has really thrown a lot at him, and Solar is maintaining quite well. Maru, another cancel on this right side base. And he knocks out a bunch of creep. Meanwhile, push gearing up towards the middle. And this is not an easy base to defend. Usually, <clears throat> usually we don't see this as the Zerg fourth. <clears throat> Because pushes from the low ground are really difficult to deal with. And even just with no creep here on the left side, Siege Tanks here, they shut down this mining completely. And there we go. There is that tank showing on up. It's not even that far forward, and it's already locking down this position. Meanwhile, Liberator on the uh, third base. Kills a queen, kills a couple of drones. Dropping the natural, killing some drones. Maru really heating up here. Lurker is going to move forward here for Solar, but the army of Maru is not really bunched up in the way that Lurker needs it to be. Solar is losing so much economy, actually. And Maru dropping back into the natural. Oh, man, he's killed so many drones. Going to gun down the Roach Warren. It is 2-1 versus 1-1. Even though Maru forgot that upgrade, he's still ahead in upgrades. Solar is really on the ropes here. That's a nice parasitic bomb, but a good split away from Maru. I was just going to say an abduct. Oh, the Hydra's moved away, so he has to double abduct. Siege tanks, they're just going to kill off this hatchery. Boom, down it goes. Maru playing magnificently. He's going to stim it on top of the lurkers. Not the best spread. He does snipe one, but eh, He's, he's doing everything he needs to to close this game out. Solar is on three bases versus a Terran who's almost got a fifth command center done. And Maru. Oh, I like this. I like a couple of Vikings here just to make sure the Vipers can't be too much of a problem. Meanwhile, as he kind of leaves the position, clears up a bunch of creep. The main issue actually right now for Maru is medevac energy, which is a really funny concept. He did bring that one medevac home. But he's adding on more medevac, so he's he's chilling. Solar. He's on a big army supply. He needs Maru to make a huge mistake to have a chance of getting back into this game. And I just don't really see it happening. But Lurgers are the kind of units that can really turn a game very suddenly. with no medevac energy the uh marines and i don't know what is that like one marauder can't really fight this but he gets back over to this base this is gonna be another denial god maru is playing fantastic today and the scan gonna clear up even more of this creep in the middle would have loved to have seen maru kill off this one active tumor but this is plenty good enough abduct on a liberator with very few ghosts, I think they're just starting to hit the field. It will be tricky to keep those Vipers from being effective. Good on Siege there from Maru. No wall here, which is a little bit unfortunate. Army a little bit abandoned, so Solar's going to be able to grab a couple of Siege Tanks here. But he just, he didn't just grow some by himself, did he? I oh, killed one Roach, it's fine. Good, uh, good abducts there. Solar really needs to, like, yeah, drag this game out to have any chance here. But, I don't know, Maru. Maru is just getting further and further ahead. That's a sixth base on location. Planetary Fortress is done. He's still building SCVs. Going up to 84. But he does lose a couple as they're uh, building. Well, he built loses one. But he's setting up a hard contain on this right side. Weird to call it a contain. Solar. These lurkers, they do have adaptive talents. They got the range upgrade. But there is a lot of ghosts down here. Oh, that's not good for Solar. Snipes coming in on mass. Takes out like four or five 
lurkers right away. Next battle. Five lurkers. EMPs knocking out the energy on the vipers there. And this is going to be a last ditch effort. Well, ah, there's not a lot of tanks here. There are a lot of lurkers. Maru. Uh, this is actually this is actually gaining a lot of momentum here. Hold the phone. Solar. He is going to be able to siege one factory. The other two are going to be in some trouble, but this is a big concave for Maru. Oh, and the siege tanks are just blasting through the lurkers. And it was a last-ditch effort, but it was not enough. Maru will take the game and the series in very impressive fashion. If you enjoyed that series, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the flip side.